I'm Marianne Aliardi, editor of SJ Magazine. I am lucky enough to be at a winery in SJ, one of SJ's finest wineries, Almathea. I'm with an incredible group of gentlemen. I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you. Please, George, can you start? I'm George Tabor, and I write books about wine. That's, that's an understatement, but okay, <laughs> we'll let you go on that. I'm Carl, I'm Carl um, Storchman, and I run the Journal of Wine Economics. Hi, I'm Worley Ashenfelder. I teach at Princeton University. And I'm John Mahoney. I'm the Chancellor of the Dionysian Society International, and I do wine radio and write about wine. And all of these gentlemen are experts in wine. They know everything there is to know, and they like to drink wine also. And we want our readers to know that you can come to all of these wineries in SJ and have a really good time and drink lots of wine. So I'm going to pose to each one of you, why should our readers come to a winery in New Jersey um, or what's your favorite? What do you like about the wineries, George? Well, I think one of the, the great things about New Jersey wines is they haven't yet been discovered. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they're very good value. Now, you can get a wine in South Jersey for maybe $15. It would cost you $20 or $50 if it came from California. The wines here, the last 10 years, have gotten to be much, much better and the world hasn't discovered them yet, so come and get a good yeah. value. And you're helping the world discover them. If I can, I will. Yes, yes great. So I think quality is shockingly good. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the things. Prices are pretty low still. Mm -hmm. so that might change at some point. Um, it is like the local thing. So you can come from Philly and drink the local thing, like you have your like local greens, you can have your local wine. So that's, that is really, really good. And uh, I think these are really good reasons. We could set up farmers markets. Yeah, we have them, so we could just do that with wine. Uh, I'm not sure if that's legal here in the state yet, so we'll that might change. That. We'll check. Uh, I agree with everything everybody said. Uh, the wines are dry table wines. If you like those, are really good here now, and you can have a pretty good time going to almost any one of the wineries. If you wander over to Bellevue, one of my favorites, not far from here. In Landisville, uh, you can taste all the wines free, there's no charge, and you can buy a really good dry red table wine from the 2010 vintage for 20 bucks that will beat anything you're going to have on the table from California, and you ought to serve it blind with one just to show people that you know what you're doing. <laughs> New Jersey has a lot of treasures, but South Jersey, specifically this outer coastal plain that we're sitting in right now, is so so unique because it's so similar to the places in Bordeaux, France, and northern Portugal, and parts of Spain. We have a large variety of different grapes, and as George pointed out earlier, uh, they're unknown treasures. So if you begin to realize that you can make a wine tour on a weekend through mm -hmm. South Jersey, it'll be exciting, entertaining, and educational also. Yes, we will. That's great. This month, our cover story gives you everything you need to know so that you can go and visit as many wineries as you would like to. We now are going to go in and taste some wine, so thanks for stopping by.